Hey guys, this is our shop, A90 Supra. We've developed a ton of products for this platform, but I think there's one more thing we can do for this car. So one of the common problems on road vehicles like this is a buildup of high pressure underneath the wheel wells here. Uh, the high pressure pushes up on the underside of the car and creates front end lift. The Supra also has a radiator outlet in front of the front tire. Um, so you've got this high pressure zone and hot air trying to escape from the radiators and it's just not really a good combination. There's several companies that offer a fender vent that vents on the Supra through the top of the hood since the fender and hood are kind of all one component. All of the offerings that I've seen so far cut this section of the fender out and then allow that high pressure air to escape through louvers in the top surface of the hood. One of the problems with this is that you get rocks flying into your engine bay and getting stuck under the reinforcement on the underside of the hood and rattling around. The other issue, which isn't really a functional aspect, is that it just doesn't look very clean when you pop your hood. So we've been tossing around a couple different ideas on how we can come up with a more OEM plus type approach to this problem and I think I've got some cool stuff we can show you. So the first thing we had to do to design a product like this is 3D scan the car. So this is the laser scan of the Supra. We've got the, um, the top hood sur surface and the lower fender portion and some of the front bumper. Um, so this is what we came up with for sort of the shape of the fender vent. And from there, we need to cut a hole in the hood of the car. So this is kind of a look at the final design of the fender vent, um, where ours differs a little bit from some of the other options, is that we actually have a secondary lower carbon fiber piece that fits into a cutout under the hood so that when you pop your hood, you still have a nice clean finished appearance. Um, one of the complications with doing a two-piece design like this was that we need to get the clearance between the two ducts bang on, otherwise they'll rub on each other when you open and close the hood. So to get that figured out, we actually 3D scanned um, the hood and all of the hood linkage and have it set up so that you can actually see the hood swing through its arc that it travels through and by doing this we are allowed to confirm actually initially the original design didn't clear and there would have been interference but we did a little bit of iteration and came up with a design that has both portions clear and everything fits nice and from there we could move on to 3d printing and test fitting okay so the next step is to export STL files and 3D print the duct so that we can test fit them and hopefully it fits because I only get one chance. What's up guys, Eric from Varus Engineering. We got our fender duct straight off the printer. These are basically going to go onto the car now. I'm gonna do the cutting today. Let's get after it. Hey guys, uh, we've been asked quite a bit about our fender vents for the Supra, which is cool because that means you guys are interested. Anyways, these are progressing forward. Uh, at the end of the day, we were having an issue with fitment and on this bottom side flange, you'll notice that this top side is curved and, and uh, it's actually raised and it's got some curvature to it. So there's actually a top mold and as a result, the bottom was actually not fitting to the hood's contour as well as we would like. So we ended up having to go um, 
do, do quite a bit of iterations here on actually a way to get this carbon unit to fit well. Uh, we tried adding a lot of carbon and then milling it down, and then we also tried uh, adding a bottom mold and then molding these two pieces together, and that's ultimately what we ended up with doing. Um, but people have been asking us why aren't they released and all that type of stuff, but that's ultimately why, is that we had to go back at the uh, manufacturing level and figure out how to actually make these so that they fit a little bit better than they did initially. And we're happy that with the way that they do fit now, uh, but we'll be doing double-sided tape and then these will stick on that hood, um, similar to our hood louver and various other products that we produce. But this was like a new development process that we haven't been through yet. And, uh, and we're actually really happy with the results and the fact that it's got a upper and lower skin kind of makes the car look like a finished unit super nice and uh, and it does improve front end downforce. We will do our best to keep you updated. Until next time, I'm out.